folks, welcome back into this great series, Women and Money. Again, I'm Coach Pete, joined with Leanne DiMartino, who's a specialist in dealing with helping women just like you understand the financial world. And Leanne, when we talk about understanding, there's a big battle between myth and reality, isn't there? Absolutely. <laughs> a lot of people hear one thing or are told one thing, but that's not the truth. Correct. So I think we've got a, you've got a list of five different myths you put together here. Let's look at the myth and then let's look at the reality of it. And Leanne, one of the things I've never been good at is memorizing anything, but I've got them written down. So let's go. Myth number one is, quote, we share financial decisions equally. Is that a myth or reality? That is a myth. <laughs> um, usually a lot of women don't feel like they're educated enough in financial decisions. So they kind of tend to leave it to the man yeah. um, or they don't feel like they have time. They've got other household responsibilities that they don't feel like they need to get involved. Well, I'm a man, believe it or not, and my, <laughs> my wife, Kim, I have tried to help educate her and get her on the track because I don't want to have all the responsibility. I want her to be educated completely. She's seven years younger than I am, and studies show that she'll probably already, if we were equal age, she would have outlived me by about seven years. So she's got about 15 years she's going to have to take care of herself without me around. Uh, one of the things I've done is got her some life insurance. Life insurance on me and her, just in case I'm not here, at least it's a lot easier to make decisions if you have money coming in and you don't have to, you don't have to make decisions. You make them if you want to make them. All right, so that's a good myth right there. Number two, women have been on equal ground with men financially for a long time now. Now, we both know that's a myth. Women ha are still earning less in the yeah. workforce. They were in about 81 cents to the dollar for a man. Yeah. So they're still trying to play catch up when they're trying to earn. Mm -hmm. Well, we hear that a lot. But I mean, I think it, and it's a big thing. But I think it's important if you understand money, right? Understanding money, men may make more, but I've seen men blow more too. So I've seen, I think over my lifetime, women are a lot better savers than men. They're a lot more conservative. Yeah, so a guy can make a dollar, a girl can make 81 cents, but at the end of the month, the guy has zero left or negative number and the woman has 40 cents she saved. So right. I think women are really good savers. I think they just don't know if they're saving the right place. They're lied to a lot of times. And what I've seen in my 27 years in the financial world, they're putting accounts with a bunch of financial termites, a bunch of risk, a bunch of fees, a bunch of expenses, and they're swept under the carpet. The concerns are anytime they raise that with a broker. By the way, folks, you need to deal with a fiduciary, someone who has your needs ahead of theirs and doesn't put financial termites in your portfolio. 1% in fees coming out every year doesn't sound like much until you factor in if you didn't have that fee coming out and that and the money you lost would have stayed in that account, it would have earned interest. And then the following year, that interest would have earned interest. It's called triple compounding. 1% in fees can make a huge difference in your uh, long-term viability of retirement. So be very careful about that, but uh, just make sure. I know in the past, we haven't made the same amounts and all that, but you can get a lot better understanding and put yourself ahead of the men in your family or men in society by understanding money and doing the right thing with it. All right, myth number two. This is my mother's problem, not mine. Now, what does that mean? Not true. <laughs> um, I think a lot of women think, you know, back in the day, the mom, again, did not get involved. Yeah. It is, again, t in today's age, women need to get involved. They need to know what accounts are out there, how they're invested. Yeah. So it's, it's not just their mother's problem. So just they, because the guy is making more doesn't mean you shouldn't be on equal ground in decision making, Absolutely right? Absolutely, no. Yeah, they I need to be that. on equal ground. I think it's a lot better, and I, and I do spend a lot of time, and I'm sure you do too. Uh, you couldn't call yourself Dr. Phil, though. Maybe you can nowadays, but I mean, I, I feel like I'm the Dr. Phil of the financial world a lot of times. A man and woman sitting together, and we're talking about retirement. The man wants to uh, sit at home and the woman wants to travel around the world in retirement. So now we have, a, we have to, a psychological problem. We have to get on equal ground as far as what we're going to do with the money. And that's important too. All right. Now, myth number four, I'm unhappy with the disparity and I'm advocating for a change. Now, that makes sense. Why is that a myth? A lot of women don't think they're ever going to have to manage finances on their own. They think, you know, they're not thinking about the fact that they're going to outlive their spouse yeah. or that they're going to be a number of years that they're going to be on their own. So get out of the fairy tale world and let's get to reality, right? I mean, it's going to happen eventually, folks, and you're going to need to, to know what's going on. And, it, and I'd rather have it on your terms instead of the day after you calling us and say, I don't know what's going on. My husband just died. What should I do now? I mean, a lot of you are in that situation or have been, but a lot of you aren't and don't have to be. So be proactive in the financial world and assume responsibility and, and, and don't just say, because in the past it's been wrong, it's going to be wrong for me. You can make the change as soon as possible, and I recommend calling. I mean, you call the number 800-646-9646 or text WOMEN to 21000. You'll see that uh, information on the screen. Now, the final myth, and there's a bunch more myths. We just picked the top five out of the basket, basically. 
uh, the breadwinner takes the lead on investment decisions. Now, we've, we've sprinkled this in right now, but again, true or false? It shouldn't be true, should it? No, it should not be true. Women need to be equally involved in their financial decisions, especially moving into retirement. You've been married. Yes. Who took responsibility for, who was the breadwinner and who was the one making the, the decisions? Uh, he was the breadwinner and he yeah. was the one making the decisions. Yeah. Well, so. the breadwinner, somebody has to uh, toast it and put butter on it, right? That's what you, I mean, that's what you were doing. Right. You were doing My that role and, was being mom. Yeah. Well, which is hard. I mean, that's a... I know that's harder work than work a lot of times, right? Keeping track of that. So it's important to understand myths, but don't let the myths become reality on you. And you can change that by being proactive. The sooner the better, right? I mean, Absolutely. Uh, have you seen people that said, I wish I would have talked to you before? Every day. Yeah. Every day. So folks, let's change that. Let's make sure you get on that right path and getting a proper plan that has retirement income so you never have to worry about what happens in your life going forward is vital. Again, 800 800- 646-9646. This will get you a no cost, no obligation consultation to put you back in control or at least put you on equal ground. And you can also text women to 21,000. We'll be right back.